Okay, let's build a customer service AI agent architecture before we build our actual agent. So, in order to do the architecture, we need to think about the steps. How does the agent workflow get started? First thing that we need is a customer message comes in. Now, this customer message triggers the workflow and comes to our AI agent. In order for our AI agent to answer the customer's question, it needs to do a bunch of lookups. In order to do the lookups, we need a few MCP servers. We're going to look at the customer's profile, customer's message history, uh, probably Shopify order status. So let's start with one of them. First thing, let's go to customer service MCP server to find similar questions and see how those questions were answered. Now, the customer service MCP server is going to have a bunch of tools in it. One of these tools is going to be vector search messages. Vector search messages is going to bring us other similar questions that were answered in the past. Uh, and then we're going to look at the answers and put that in the context window. The other tool we need in the customer service MCP is vector search knowledge base. This MCP tool, vector search knowledge base, is going to help us tap into our knowledge base to see how we're supposed to answer questions like this. Another MCP tool that we need in this MCP server is vectorized message so that we can vectorize this question and its final answer. So in the future, when similar questions come, our system knows how to answer those questions. So we're going to be storing the message along with the question and the answer. So these three tools in the customer service MCP. Another MCP server that we're going to need is Shopify MCP. So now that we have our Shopify MCP, which MCP tools do we need in here? One of them should be get order status. The other one should be process return. This is when, if the customer wants a return or a refund. Now, the third MCP server we're going to need is customer data MCP. This MCP server is going to help us look up customer's profile, their message history, and their order history, so that we can put all of them into the context before we decide on how to reply the question. So now let's take a look. What do we have? We have three MCP servers that our AI agent is going to work with. Customer service MCP is going to give us vector search messages from all other customers so that we can see what kind of answers the team has been giving. Vector search knowledge base to see what the instructions are to answer these kinds of questions. And then vectorizing this message, the question along with its answer. The Shopify MCP is going to give us order status, process return. And the customer data MCP is going to give us get customer profile, get message history, get order history for this customer. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, different tools that our AI agent can tap into in order to decide how to answer this question and how to process a return if it needs to be. So now all of this is going to come into 
the context window. So let's say here, assembling the context and then draft reply. This is a good start. There's a lot more to do, obviously, to build a very sophisticated uh, customer service agent. Um, but we should ship something. So what I'll do is I'll take this architecture and in the next video, I'll turn it into a workflow with the agent that works with these MCP server tools to draft a reply. See you then.